Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I wanted to start a new segment or I'm attempting to start a new segment on my channel where on Fridays we discuss something other than beauty or fashion and we just discuss something else. So I announced this on my Snapchat I want to say like a week ago or maybe it was longer than that but I want to say it was like a week ago and um, the first topic was a topic that a lot of you guys not only here on snapchat but on my Facebook um, have asked me a lot and even here on YouTube you guys sent me these questions so I figured it would be a great first topic to start off with but I'm also um, looking for new topics to talk about I want to make this maybe like a once a month Friday thing where we sit down and chit chat on a Friday and you guys send me your questions and we kind of go over it I think it'll be really fun it also give like a nice little break in between all the beauty fashion I love doing beauty and fashion videos I just feel like sometimes you just need something else like to talk about something else <laughs> and guys I'm sorry if my eye my eye is like really watery on this side so if you see my eye water or if you see my eye red I'm not sure what's going on I woke up this morning and my eye on the corner here was really red or something like that so bear with me so today's topic, and I'm sure you guys can see it from the title, is plus size dating slash just dating in general. These are going to be tips, tricks, questions. Um, you guys' questions had me rolling on Snapchat. Like, it was amazing. And I also shared um, some stories with you on Snapchat about my personal experiences with dating. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, go do that now. We have tons of fun. Before I start, I just want to put it out there that this is not an, an advice video. This is just tips tricks I hate giving advice videos just because I feel like everybody's experience is different and giving advice is very broad and it's not gonna work for everyone and I just don't feel like I'm like an expert or anything so I actually formatted this because <laughs> I didn't want to just run on because I can run on I actually formatted it how I wanted to talk about it. I'm going to kind of go through that way. So we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to start with talking about my experience with plus size dating and then we're going to move into the questions. When I was dating a long, long time ago, as you guys know, I am married and I'm no longer dating. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, I never really... I don't know I never really like looked at myself as a woman who was dating plus size I guess by standards I was plus size and I was fat but I didn't really look at it like that I was just a girl dating because um, somebody asked me was there an incident while I was dating where I felt like the person I was out with or I was dating thought that I was too fat or too big or too overweight for them um, they only had one instance um, that really stuck out in my mind when I was thinking about this and I this happened a really really long time ago and I was on a double date with a friend actually it was a blind date for me because she was going out with somebody his friend was in town so he was like do you have a friend and she was like yeah come along and I was like hey I'll go um so we got there and it was great we met them and about halfway through the dinner you know I'm kind of talkative sometimes but when I feel like somebody is not trying to mess with me I can shut down and just not talk and just ignore you just as much as you're ignoring me so I think that's how I felt at a certain point was that he started ignoring me and I was really wasn't sure why um the place that we were at had like a dining area and then it had like a like a chill like couch area so when we moved over to the chill couch area like I asked him I was like are you okay is everything okay and I think he said something along the lines of, I've just never uh, dated or been out with somebody of your size before. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, okay. What I was basically saying was that you're out on a date. Just enjoy yourself. You don't have to marry me. You don't have to date me. But you can at least be nice and be cordial and not act like your whole world is ending because you're out with a woman that's more than a size six. So... <laughs> Um, I think I said something along those lines, very snarky like that. I don't know. It was just, I was hurt and I was upset and I was like, very like, wow, this is the first time that's ever happened to me. And yeah, my feelings were hurt. I mean, my feelings were definitely hurt. And I think that, um always having been taught by my parents to never make a scene um, I just had to sit there and I had to act 
act very ladylike and very cordial but I think my friend noticed that I was not in good spirits and she asked me she was like do you want to go and I don't think she heard the conversation between us and I was like no because she was vibing great with the guy and they were having lots of fun and I just didn't want to break that and I was like you know she invited me I'm just gonna deal with it hey I'm just gonna sip my drink and be you know done with it so we ended up leaving the restaurant and um, I think the guys wanted to go to like a lounge slash, slash like club bar type place. So I, I knew the place we were going so I was like oh there's probably going to be other people there that I know and I can you know kind of get out of this situation. So we're driving down and we get there and it's it very important for me to tell you guys what I was wearing. <laughs> I look really really cute my hair was done um, and I had on this mini skirt that had like fringe on it it had like all these fringe coming down it so whenever I walked the fringe would like move it was way too cute <laughs> but we get to the bar and I'm a dancer I like to dance especially when I get a couple of drinks um, as soon as music come on I'm the first person to jump up and want to like dance so my favorite song came on and I jumped up and I was dancing and I don't know if you've ever tried to like a dance and do some mini twerks with a fringe skirt and the skirt just accentuates it and makes it look like you are doing the most so that's exactly what was happening I wasn't even you know dropping like it's hot or anything it was just regular dance moves and but my skirt was just doing the utmost at that moment as I was dancing I was having fun I had a smile on my face I let go of everything so other men started to approach me and wanted to talk to me so all of a sudden homeboy who wanted nothing to do with me because I was too big for his standard wanted to come in and be like oh are they bothering you and I was like no they're not bothering me thanks and he went back and sat down and then he came up and started wanting to start conversation with me oh what do you go to school blah 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 and I was like you had an hour and a half with me and you didn't want to have anything to do with me but now because you see a man who looks like you who looks even better looking than you wanted to talk to me all of a sudden you're interested but that was my little story I'm gonna stop there a lot more cussing out went on <laughs> after that as I got more drinks in me but that was my little story with feeling uncomfortable um, but turning the situation around and not letting it affect me to the point where I went home and got depressed so that was my experience with somebody making me feel like I wasn't worth their time because I wasn't the size that they wanted me to be. <sighs> okay. I have just a couple of tips for dating, for plus size dating. And this is going to go for plus size dating for anybody dating. This is just a dating tip. Things that really worked for me when I was dating. Number one, I never, never, never went out looking for men. Um, and I have friends who do this. They go out and they're just sitting there, sipping their drink, just waiting. It's like they're just out there to meet a man. They're just waiting. Like they're just ready for any man to come talk to them. Whenever I went out, I had a plan. I was going out with friends, so I was there to have fun. And if something happened or if somebody approached me, then that's something completely different. But if nobody did, I wasn't disappointed because I wasn't there to find a man anyway. Another tip that I have, and it worked really well for me, was I always dated a little bit older than me. Um, just because of the age that I was, I feel like the men were a little bit mature. They were still very infatuated with how somebody looked, physical attributes. And I felt like dating a little bit older than me always was more comfortable for me because the men had already gone to the stage of oh I want this girl because she looked like this they've gone through that they've, they've dated a girl that looked a certain way and it didn't pan out they had nothing to talk about and it was just boring or they, it was just no substance there sometimes and maybe they were looking for something different and maybe a certain body type wasn't really a concern for them anymore they were looking for something more so they were more open-minded to what they were looking for three my last tip because I don't I don't have a whole lot of tips because I feel like it's you know it's different for everybody is you have to put effort into how you look how you smell your hygiene um, what you're wearing all of that like your whole package has to look great and your attitude that's really really important this sounds crazy but yeah you have to be smiling you have to be somebody who looks approachable and it sounds crappy because you're like well, what do I have to be smiling and I'm like well 
Would you approach somebody yourself who wasn't smiling, who, who looked like they didn't want to be there, who looked like they just didn't want to be bothered? No, which is goes the same. Like they want to approach, like this men want to approach somebody who they feel like is approachable. Okay, now I want to move on to the questions because I don't want this video to be too too long. The first question is how do I navigate being the big girl with the skinny friends? Um, <laughs> I was the thicker, bigger girl, and all my friends have always been fairly thin. If you look at my bridal party, like, all my friends have always been fairly thin. And I never felt like the bigger girl with the skinny friends. They were just my friends. Um, so I'm not really sure how to answer that question. Are they making you feel like you're the bigger girl? What really matters here is your relationship with your friends. Like, are they your true friends? Um, if they are, that really shouldn't matter whether you're the bigger, smaller, shortest, whatever. They're just your friends. If you feel less than, um, and if you feel inferior because of their actions, you need to take yourself out of the situation. But if you feel inferior or if you feel less than because of your own perception of yourself and because of your own action, don't put that on them. That's something you have to work on with yourself. Did you ever feel like you had to get physical with a man faster um uh basically did you ever feel like you had to go to the next step really fast with a man because you felt like you were bigger and he was losing interest i never personally felt like i had to move at a pace faster than what i was comfortable with uh, and you shouldn't either uh, you should still move at your same pace you should never feel like you have to overcompensate for anything because there's nothing to overcompensate for you're a beautiful man there's nothing else there is nothing that should be making you feel like you're not and if you feel like you're not and if you feel like you have to do things that you wouldn't normally do to keep this person's attention then you should remove yourself from the situation what do you do when your skinnier friend tries to steal your man um, I have a very quick answer for this one. If any friend, whether she's skinnier or whatever, tries to steal your man, number one, she's not a good friend. Number two, if she can successfully steal your man, he wasn't yours to have anyway. And that's all I Hey have. guys, I just got back from work and all day I remember that there's a question that somebody asked me that I missed. I didn't answer it. Um, and it was one of the first questions that were asked and I realized that I never answered it. And I didn't want her to feel like I just kind of skipped over her question. I am back with all my oiliness glory. <laughs> so, the question... So her question is, I have a friend, we've been friends for a while, we have friends in common, and I've had a crush on him for a long time, and my friends are always telling me to step out of the box and ask him out, but I feel kind of weird never having asked a man out. I finally got the nerve to ask him out, and he said that I wasn't really his type, and he didn't want to hurt my feelings, but he wasn't really attracted to me. I was hurt and humiliated, and I just want to know, does that make him a bad guy? I'm guessing the question is, does that make the guy a bad guy? I don't think it makes the guy a bad guy. I think in all things in dating, we have to realize that we're going to get rejected. Like, it's just a part of dating. And it's not just a plus size thing. It's an everybody thing. Everybody gets rejected once in a while. Sometimes you have your heart set or your eyes set on somebody and they just don't see it. Like, you're just not their cup of tea. And you have to be able to understand that. I know that they're not a bad person for conveying to you that. I'm not attracted to you. I actually think that was very brave of him to tell you that because a lot of men would just kind of not see anything, drag you along, call you in the middle of the night, like what you doing, let me come over, kind of like that. Just use you for, you know, when they're lonely or whatever, make you cook for them, clean for them, you know, just use you and which is not right, which I really thought he was actually a good friend to you because he told you he didn't want to hurt your feelings but he wasn't attracted to you. I think you're just not his type. And and maybe that has nothing to do with your size. Maybe that just has to do with, I don't know, personality differences. It could be a lot of things, but even if it is your size, it's okay for people to not be attracted to somebody that's bigger. I actually find that to be very commendable when somebody can tell you upfront, flat out, what they're feeling. Isn't that what we're always asking for as women to just be told, just tell me the truth flat out what it is. And I think that's what he did. He just told you how it was instead of, you know, stringing you along and potentially breaking your heart at some point. So yeah. And I'm sure there's somebody else out there for you who is going to make you 10 times more happy. So that is all you guys. I don't think I answered all the questions, but I didn't want this video to be too, too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you please like this types of video, 
videos, let me know down below. Also, let me know what topics you would like for me to talk about next. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it on your social media. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.